Hello, welcome to Frugally Delicious. Today I have six meals planned for you and I'll be using only these ingredients that I purchased at the store. So we got our two rolls, six eggs, a tomato, a zucchini, some green onions, an avocado, and some pasta. Really, I think you could use any pasta you wanted to, but I'm gonna prefer the spaghetti noodles in this one. And then we have some basic spices. We'll be using salt, pepper, a few other ones from the pantry, some oil, and then some other ingredients. Maybe not so common, but I do believe most of you will have these ingredients on hand. So vinegar, you can use any kind you want. Some Parmesan cheese, you could use any kind of cheese that you wanted to. Some mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, whatever you want, and some mustard. So let's go ahead and get into those delicious meals. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my green onions here. I chose the green onions because I thought that they would add a lot of color, some flavor to the dish, and for 50 cents, I thought that that was a pretty stellar compromise on the budget. Flavor and deliciousness added to a meal. 50 cents, not bad. And that is the spice of life, folks. The old variety. I have never made cloud eggs before. So, this is gonna be an experiment for myself. It said to separate the yolk from the egg white. I'm gonna set the egg yolk aside for now. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper inside of the egg whites. That's what it calls for. Now, it also did call for ham but I am not gonna use that because girl don't got no ham. I'm gonna use a hand mixer and beat this for about three minutes. That's what it said to do. So I'm gonna do that and we'll see what they look like. Look at those bad boys. Or that bad boy, because there's only one egg. But it said to beat it until soft peaks formed. So I'm guessing that's it. And then to take a pan and put some oil on it, grease it, butter, whatever you got. I'm kind of scared, so I'm gonna put a good amount of oil on here, because boy, oh boy, I don't want that to stick. Don't mind my super old pans either. Girl on a budget, she gotta use these pans. Gotta use these old pans. Mm -hmm. Said to put this on a pan in a little pile. Oh man, a very interesting texture here. I'm actually very, very excited to try this. Carve out a hole. It's gonna be for our egg yolk here in a little while. Guess it doesn't need to be that big. The yolk's not that big. I don't know. Man, this is some weird looking stuff. <laughs> I'm super excited to try it because it was like a big trend for a while that I never even knew existed and then I started coming across these recipes when I started making this channel so very interested very 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 curious about these bad boys well like my little bonehead self this is what I do <laughs> especially with this new filming I I tend to forget a lot of things well it said to put parmesan cheese and um, some ham in here of course I don't have ham so I'm gonna put the Parmesan cheese right on top, guys. I'm improvising my little backside off here. There we go. Yeah, it looks fine, it's good. Mixture's in though, okay? <laughs> I did preheat my oven to 450 and it says to cook this first time for about three minutes. Let's go. She's steaming and just came out of the oven. Kinda looks like mashed potatoes, but oh no, it's not. <laughs> Have my yolk, it kind of busted. I'm not really worried about it because you can't fix it. I will put the yolk inside of here. I'm gonna put a few little pieces of green onion on the top. So they'll cook for a few minutes while they're in the oven. It says to cook for three minutes, again at 450. While my cloud eggs bake, I'm going to go ahead and toast up my bun for my toast, since my toaster is broken, I am gonna use the stove. I'm gonna to top mine with some mayo because I'm gonna put the cloud egg right on top. Kind of like a sandwich, I guess, in a way. You can put butter on yours too if you want or 
whatever you want to put on your toast. I have my cloud egg here. It did stick to the pan just a little bit, so I would recommend using a good amount of oil on there. I'm gonna plate her, and then I'm gonna eat it. All right, I'm scared. <laughs> it is actually super, super soft, like a cloud. <laughs> The name just gives it away, you know. We get a little bit of that yolk in there. There it is. Okay, it's all very, very mild tasting. I see why they would probably want to add some ham in there. Let's give it a bite without the bread. It tastes like a fried egg, only like less greasy. And the consistency is quite strange. It's got a good flavor though, overall. It's good. It just, the consistency is a little off for me, but I'd eat it again. Sometimes there's like these little pieces of, um, like right there around the edges, I guess, that got a little crisp. Maybe if I spread it out a little bit more, it might have more of that crispiness, which I kind of like that crispiness. I don't know, let me know if you've ever tried cloud eggs what you do to yours, and all that jazz. All right, next meal is egg drop soup, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, and I will be adding in some pasta, just kind of as a filler. I love egg drop soup, but sometimes it's just not filling enough. So I am gonna put a little pasta in there, so no, it's not your traditional egg drop soup, but I think it'll be tasty with this new addition. Decided I'm gonna go ahead and cook all of my pasta, actually. So it's all nice and ready for all of the meals. Salting my water nice and good because I'm actually going to use this water for the egg drop soup. I'm going to do it a little bit differently because I don't have chicken stock to use. So we're going to improvise on some stuff. Let me know below if you've ever made egg drop soup. Do you need to just take out about a serving for this meal? Go ahead and pour my water in. It's a, just slightly over a cup and a half of that pasta water. You can use chicken stock, vegetable stock, whatever you have. You could use a bone broth or you could do like I'm gonna do and I'll be using some of this chicken bouillon. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to mine. You can add salt, pepper. One of the recipes that I found called for a little bit of ginger so I'm just gonna put a very little a bit in there. This stuff can be a little bit spicy. Don't wanna be too spicy. Putting in a little bit of garlic powder. Put as much as you would like in yours. Things are starting to smell delicious in this kitchen. You'll need one egg, which you will need to beat. Putting a few of those green onions in there for color, flavor, and egg drop soup is delicious with green onions. I'm gonna reserve a little bit of this juice so that we can do a cornstarch thickener. If you have flour, you can use flour instead. Have about one teaspoon of cornstarch and use that spoon, don't need to dirty up anything else. Get her all nice and mixed up. Add that back in the soup. Of course, you can make yours as thick as you would like. I prefer mine a little bit more liquidy or juicy as opposed to like a really a thick sauce. Get a nice little whirlpool going on there in the center. We're gonna slowly start adding in our eggs. There we go. And then keep stirring for about 30 seconds to a minute. I did read online that they said that you should use a nice high quality broth to get like the best flavor out of the soup. But since this is a budget video, we're gonna make this the old cheap as possible way. And hopefully it still tastes just as tasty. Okay, removing that from the heat and then I'm gonna get my pasta ready to put in here since the pasta is already cooked all you got to do is add it in there it's a lot of pasta here so i'm gonna kind of add as much as i want i want the pasta strips to be really really small so they're bite sized so plenty fits on the spoon but nothing kind of hangs over a nice neat tidy bite i would recommend not putting the pasta in the soup until you are ready to eat because the pasta will, of course, still absorb 
some of the liquids from it. So if you like a saucy kind of a soup, just wait till you are just about ready to eat it. it smells really, really good. <laughs> Lots of green onions in there, little egg pieces, noodles. It's really, really thick. It's got a nice creamy consistency. The egg is like all over the place. And I love the occasional crunch from the green onions. This is fabulous. And I actually didn't even use all of the broth. There's a little bit left and there's a little bit of the noodles left. So I could probably make a nice small little bowl later. If you've never made a drop soup, I totally recommend that you make it, <laughs> try it, give it a try. All right, the next meal is deviled egg pasta salad. I'm gonna cook up three eggs. I'm actually gonna only use two for this one and then I'm gonna use one for another one. So I just thought I'd go ahead and cook up the three that I need for the meals. Got one egg left for one of the other meals. I actually found this recipe online. It sounded really, really, really good. I love deviled eggs. So I thought this would be a nice little interesting thing to try. I'm hoping it turns out good with the pasta. So we're gonna give it a shot. All right, it's time to make the deviled egg insides. There's one egg and there be two eggs for ya. I will be making my sauce. This is just how I make my sauce. If you have a different way to make it, you can do that. I do wanna put some green onions in there. Nice little crunch, nice little color. I might put some on top too actually. So I'll put that aside. Adding a little bit of vinegar. It's probably gonna be about a teaspoon to a tablespoon. You like yours tangy? Go ahead and put enough in there to make it tangy. A little bit of mustard. We're gonna do probably about a teaspoon and a half. Again, you like mustard, add some more in there. Just a little bit of salt. If you're watching your salt, don't add it. Garlic powder, add as much as you want with that. If you like garlic, boom, throw it in there, Emerald. Some paprika. I love paprika. It is beautiful in color. It tastes delicious. A little bit of pepper. If you don't like pepper, don't add that. Jazz to your little doodab here. And then the magical ingredient, a little bit of mayo. You can use Miracle Whip if you like. I just usually buy one and not the other. <laughs> Don't need to have two of those in there. Just give her a nice mixeroni up. Then you can give it a taste, see how you like it, see what you need to add. Now I didn't say actually online whether or not to serve this hot or cold. So the eggs are kind of a little bit on the warmer side. So it's gonna be a little bit warmer, but probably closer to room temperature once I added the other cold ingredients in there. And as far as the pasta, you can warm that up if you want to. You can leave it cold, you can do it room temperature. I put mine in the microwave and then I let it sit there while I was filming the rest of this. So it's probably gonna be closer to room temperature. So all of it, room temperature. A little bit of hot sauce would be good in this too. Maybe a little Frank's, whatever you like to jazz up your foods. You can put this all in the bowl and just mix it up and eat it, but kind of going for presentation here. I do like to take pictures of all of my meals that I cook and I put them in a frugally delicious digital cookbook that is available on my Patreon. I update that every month with all my frugal meal ideas. So all of my meals are in one place for your viewing pleasure. I actually really like this meal idea too because once you get the pasta made and the eggs done, it's boom, bam, it's done. And I actually think I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika on the top. It's quite pretty and I do love that smoky goodness flavor. Isn't she just beautiful? Love the way it came out. It looks really nice for presentation. Go ahead and get that in the shot. Go ahead and give her a little bite, taste test. Make sure you get plenty of noodles and all the wonderful toppings. Love it, looks good, smells really good. Mm, that's actually really good. Really like that pasta with that. I was a little bit scared of what it would exactly tastes like. It tastes like deviled eggs. And then it has that pasta 
flavor to it. So, you know, like if you ever eat plain pasta, you'll know what I'm talking about. I like the consistency of everything together. It's not like mush or anything. It has the nice crisp from the green onions. It has a lot of flavor from the paprika and all the flavorings I put in there. Spices and seasoning. Overall, this is a pretty good dish. I would definitely eat this again. Tastes taste amazing, actually. I think if you wanted a little bit more of a crunch, putting some regular onions in here, like yellow or white onions, would be really, really good. And I do want to give this a try with a little bit of hot sauce. This is just some off-brand hot sauce from Kroger. This hot sauce definitely takes it up a notch, and I think I will eat it on the rest of my pasta. Let me know if you guys have ever tried deviled egg pasta, or maybe what's the oddest thing you've ever put on pasta noodles. I'm always down for trying different kinds of pasta meals. All right, the next meal is an egg avocado salad. I'm actually gonna make it like an egg salad that you would put on toast. Doing the same thing, but we're gonna do it avocado style. No mayo in this, so a little less fat. I'm only gonna be using half of the avocado this time. The other half is actually gonna be used in two different meals. My avocado is chopped up. Just going to smash up a few of the pieces just so there's a little bit of smoother consistency in there and then a few of the pieces I am gonna leave whole. My avocados are mashed up, kind of. It was a little bit on the firmer side. Should have left it on the counter for a day or two so it could soften up. So not gonna come out as great as I would like it to, but I think it'll still be good. Cutting up, chopping up my egg, adding in a little bit of pepper, a little paprika, putting in some green onions for a little bit of color in there a dash or splash of salt in there. I'm gonna add just a bit of mustard to it. Now if you want to, you can add mayo to it or Miracle Whip, but going for a little bit of a lighter flavor here. I have my last roll toasted up. I'm gonna add my toppings on the top and we'll see what it looks like. All right, there she is. She's not as pretty as some of the other ones, but I think it'll taste pretty good. I did put a little bit of hot sauce on top of mine. You can top yours with some mustard if you'd like. It definitely has a lighter taste without the mayo, which I think I kind of like. It's a lot less like sloppy. At the same time, it has a more mild flavor than a egg salad. And I really, really like the addition of the hot sauce on top. I think that's really, really good. I love the crunch of the bread against the toppings. It's a pretty good meal overall. I would definitely eat this again. For the next meal, I will be enjoying some pasta salad. Just going to use some fresh garlic. You can use powder if you want to. I do want to release the flavors of the garlic, so I just want to cook this up a little bit. Also, I'm going to put the seasonings in there. I'm gonna add some oregano, onion powder. All right, she's done. That's the easiest thing I'm gonna to do today. Mm, that garlic smells downright delicious. I will be making my Italian dressing, vinaigrette dressing, whatever you wanna call it, using probably about a tablespoon of vinegar. You use whatever kind of vinegar you want. A little bit of water, probably about a teaspoon to a tablespoon. Of course, you can salt and pepper yours to your taste. I'm gonna put just a dash of salties in there. A little pinch of pepper. Gonna add in my cooked garlic and seasoned seasons. <laughs> About a teaspoon to a tablespoon of olive oil. Of course, you adjust these to your taste and liking. And then to kind of cut back on the acidity a little bit, just a pinch, literally a pinch of sugar. Don't want sugar? Omit the sugar. Sugar. This stuff's really good when it's shaken and not stirred, so. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. She smells really, really good. 
Now what's a pasta salad without some fresh vegetables? I'm going to use some zucchini. The rest I'm gonna use for another meal. I might have a little bit left also. You can cook your veggies if you want to. I don't plan on doing that. I want them nice and fresh and crispy. I'm gonna use just for a splash of color and a little bit of flavor, a little bit of some tomato. I do need most of this for the last meal. So saving that. You can totally omit this. You can add more if you want. You can use canned tomatoes if that's what you have. Whatever you wanna do, whatever vegetables you wanna to add to it. I have some avocado. I'm saving a little bit for the next meal. And then I'm going to use a little bit for this one. And then let's build us some pasta salad. Got plenty left for this meal and then the last meal. Kind of interested in the last meal myself because it's a little spin on something most people eat quite often. Add in my zucchini, probably plenty. I won't use the rest on this one. Some avocado, lots of green stuff in here, huh? Should have got an extra tomato. Put the tomato on there. That would have been a nice colorful twist there. Ah, that's a nice splash of color though. And then, of course, plenty of green onions. I'll have plenty of these left at the end. Just put them on for a little extra pop of green because we need different shades of green in our lives. <laughs> Top her with your sauce, like a boss. All right, she's plated. Let's give her a taste. All right, there she is. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm digging all of the very mild flavors and all of the flavors in general. They taste really, really good together. I haven't had a cold pasta salad since I was probably a kid, uh, you know, like 14-ish. It's been a long time, okay guys? It was actually one of my favorite like summertime meals that one of our one of my parents' friends used to always make. It was one of my favorite things she would make when we would all get together and do like a little potluck. For the next meal, I'm going to make some fried spaghetti with a fried egg. I found this recipe online, thought it was interesting, never had fried spaghetti, thought I'd give it a try. I like spaghetti. We usually have leftovers of spaghetti, right? Because we make too many noodles. So I'm going to make some homemade sauce. I've actually made this in my videos in the past. So I won't really go into it. Basically, I'm going to blanch my tomato, get the skin off. I'm gonna chop it up, put it in a saucepan, and cook it and simmer it until it's completely liquefied. And then I'm going to add some seasonings in there. If you have spaghetti sauce already made in a can, you can go ahead and just use that. I'll make my sauce and then I will be back after that. I have my sauce made. There's actually not a lot. One tomato doesn't make a lot, <laughs> but I think this will be plenty for the amount of pasta I have. Got my spaghetti. I'm gonna go ahead and just dump it in here, get it all nice and mixed, coated, so that we can get her into the old frying pan. She's pretty good and coated, I would say. I have my zucchini chopped up. That's the amount I'm gonna use for this. And then this is what I have left over from all of the meals. So I'll probably end up making some zoodles, love zoodles. I've made that in my other budget videos. And then I have a little bit of my avocado left. I have my butter in the pan. You can use butter or oil, it said. I think it preferred oil, but I prefer butter. So you can do either. Oh yeah, hear that sizzle, folks? This is supposed to give the edge of the spaghetti like a nice crispy texture. So that's what we're going for. The recipes I found said anywhere from about eight to 10 minutes on cooking it. So I am gonna kind of let it sit here and fry up a bit. I'm thinking about using some fresh garlic. So I might go do that and then put that in here. It's been cooking for about a minute or so. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my fresh chopped zucchini. I decided not to do the fresh garlic, but you totally can do that. That was an option. Or you can use powder if you want. 
plenty of green onions left, but these are great in soups and stews and bakes and all kinds of things. All right, she has been plated and she is B-E-A-U-T-Full. Of course, I fried an egg. I didn't show you how I did that because I thought everybody might know how to fry an egg. <laughs> Added on my avocado and I am ready to eat. I'm so hungry. You can actually see the little pieces of noodles that are kind of fried. Anywho, it's time to take a bitey ooh of this delicious foodie ooh. Did I mention I was hungry? <laughs> Cause I'm really, really hungry. There she is. Those noodles are really good with how it was, I guess, fried in the pan, really brings out the flavor in that sauce, that tomato. Get a little more egg in this one. I didn't, I don't think I got enough egg in that last one. Hmm. And that yolk actually works quite nicely with the spaghetti. I usually don't like my yolks running, but I decided to go ahead and leave it like that this time, since I thought it would be a little bit better overall for the dish. It would add a little bit more flavor with the yolk. I was afraid the noodles were actually gonna become really, really soggy, but they totally are not. Next time, I think I actually am gonna leave it on there even longer, maybe another five minutes or so. I'm really enjoying these little crispy textures. Mm. Let me know if you guys have ever had fried spaghetti. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Thank you for being here. I enjoyed making this video and I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Happy eating, my friends.